Good Thursday evening, folks. It's November 7th, 2024. I'm Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandage, still talking about Hurricane Raphael in the Gulf of Mexico. It is maintaining Category 2 hurricane status after making landfall over 24 hours ago in western Cuba as a major Category 3 storm. Now, there is some good news here. It looks to not threaten the United States. If you remember a few days ago, the, the hurricane track did show a turn to the north, even though some models still do indicate that possibility. More models than not show it staying out over the open Gulf of Mexico and staying west and eventually southwest. So it no longer looks to be a threat to the Gulf Coast of the United States and the remainder of the basin relatively quiet. There is one other tropical wave we're watching out there, but chances have dropped for that to develop in our next named storm. Here's a 12 hour loop of infrared satellite imagery on Raphael, a healthy looking storm. In fact, there's a cleared out eye and it's maintaining its status. In fact, maybe even strengthening a little bit going off the four o'clock advisory here. Pressures remain steady and winds are still at 105 miles per hour. Clear cut category two hurricane here as it's building off towards the northwest and it has more a westerly component to it as well. Healthy looking storm right now. When we switch up the filter to water vapor imagery, you can see what's kind of going on in the mid levels. That's eventually going to lead to a weakening trend with this system. What's off to the west here in the rust color that is very dry mid level air as this builds into that very dry air mass. It's going to entrain some of that dry air and that will begin to choke off its internal structure and we'll start to see it rapidly weaken. On top of that, there will be building wind shear off to the west there and that'll begin to tilt the system and disrupt its overall circulation. So here's the brand new track from the National Hurricane Center. Again, staying a category two storm probably through Friday evening and then beginning to weaken down to a category one. And by Sunday afternoon, we're looking at a tropical storm as it bends to the south and west and eventually ends up as a dissipating remnant low in the Bay of Campeche getting into the early parts of next week. Notice that cone clear of the U.S. Gulf Coast. In fact, not even any portion of that cone is overlapping any part of the U.S. coastline. How do the models compare here? Let's go with the GFS and the American GFS. The Americans in the uh, yellow European is in the red pretty much right on initially starting to diverge a little bit as we get out through Friday, but still taking that track off towards the west. And then you see the American starts to bend a little bit more to the north. Dissipates, though, in fact, both models have the storm dissipating by Monday. So that's interesting there. The dry air and wind shear, according to these two models, will have a detrimental effect on it a little bit sooner uh, than what the Hurricane Center is expecting here. That would be some good news if it does play out that way. Other tropical wave out there, and this is uh, just north of Puerto Rico. You can see the cloud structure here, a rather disorganized wave at the moment, building into an unfavorable environment, which is why the chances of development are so low, only at 20% chance. But if it was to develop, it would get the next name on our list, which is Sarah. Four names left on the 2024 list until we'd have to go to the auxiliary. Hopefully we don't have to do that. And the way things look right now, I don't see any other development happening anytime soon. Hurricane season officially ends November 30th. All right, that's the latest on today's video and uh, an update on Hurricane Raphael. If you have any questions, you can find me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, X, and on TikTok. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday.